What is up, guys? Welcome back to Tech Talk Vids. Everybody just wants to cancel every goddamn thing. What is up, guys? Welcome on into Tech Talk Vids. And today, uh, as you can see up on my monitor, they're talking about canceling CES already. Like the, the cancel CES movement is in full effect. Everybody's so scared of this Omicron variant when, look, if if the the pandemic had broke out at the beginning and we're looking at the alpha beta charlie or even delta variants of the virus i'd have been like all right last year it made sense this year and we're i'm just talking about facts and data right now what what's available what's been put out there not just here in the united states but in other countries fact more people have died from choking on Popeye's chicken than Omicron. Facts. Also facts. Because we've pushed vaccines so hard in this country and so many people are already fully vaccinated, um, if you happen to get Omicron, you might get a sneeze or a sniffle, maybe? I mean, we keep hearing everybody telling us, follow the science. You have to go by what the science says. Well, the fucking science is pretty clear at this point. The science from the data that's out now is, unless you're one of those really weak immune system type folks, like, or you have a pre-existing condition that would make you predisposed to die from Omicron, you're over like 90, I, I think the... I've heard people say this on TV, and I can't back this up with a fact, but, you know, they say you're a 99.999, whatever. Let's just say, for shits and giggles, you're 90% of, like, the, the percentage is so small that you would even get seriously ill from the virus. You have a better chance of probably dying from the flu or choking on some chicken from Popeye's. Here's some wonderful tweets that I've seen going across the board today. Everybody wants to cancel... Uh, CES. Have it. Perfect. Perfect. So what do you guys think? Um, personally, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't sign up to attend and I'm going to tell you why. I'm not cool with, and someone's going to say, oh, TK is an anti-vaxxer. No, that's not the case. Um, you know that if you're a contractor, a government employee, or you you uh, regularly access government installations, you have to be vaccinated. It's the fact that I don't feel like I should have to provide my medical history or records to somebody. I am. So it just is what it is. Um I don't feel like I should have to give it to somebody to be able to attend a conference. And in that case, I said, fuck it. I was still coming to Vegas anyway. Uh, in fact, I'm about to be there permanently. But um, for me, it's this thing that I'm seeing going on right now is just crazy. Now, look, here's the thing. It is well within your right. If you don't want to go, you don't feel comfortable going to CES, then don't go. But let's also keep it a buck here. If you don't think COVID was already around... When we all were at CES in 2020, <laughs> in January of 2020, if you don't think COVID was already at CES, you're fucking stupid. I guarantee you that super flu you got when you got home, you probably had COVID. All right. I know people that left the show and then later they got tested and had antibodies but never got sick. Come on, man. Listen. All these people making this big hubbub about T-Mobile pulling out, Facebook, pull, look, fine, pull out, you know? Maybe that's what most of y'all's daddies should have done before they had you was pull out. But hey, like I said, it's all within your right. I'm not going to roast somebody for, for their personal choice not to attend. I would never do that. I'm 100% on board with your personal choice. Um, and that's across the board. So... You know, good luck to those folks that decide that they don't want to come to CES, but do I think CES is going to get canceled? 
only if the dumbasses that are only if the, I don't want, even want to call them dumbasses, but they will be dumbasses if they kowtow to these people and they're going to destroy the economy in Las Vegas all because of some, and, and people aren't going to like that I'm going to say this, insignificant tech quote unquote journalists that think it's not safe to go. Suck it up, buttercup. Figure it out. We're in a post, well, I don't want to say post-COVID world yet because it's not post-COVID yet, but suck it up. You've been vaccinated, and if you've been vaccinated and you're willing to provide your information and go to the conference, suck it up. Now, if you don't want to go and you have an issue like I did with providing your personal uh, medical records, then also say that. Make it part of the conversation, but don't be, I don't want to go to CES, I think it's too much of a risk. Uh. Come on, man. You look like an idiot. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Major uh, news for you guys that were asking concerning the iPhone giveaway. We'll be doing that live over on Amazon tomorrow. I will see you guys over there. This video is probably going to get massively slammed for all kinds of flags. But it is what it is. I didn't say anything that was uh, misinformation or whatever. I'm just speaking straight facts uh, as far as how many deaths have been caused by omicron in the united states so far more people have legitimately died from eating popeye's chicken than omicron matter of fact i don't know what the numbers of how many people died from burger king or mcdonald's because i know somebody at popeye's might get mad that i keep picking on them but insert your favorite fast food restaurant here i guarantee you there's probably more people that's died from eating your favorite food than omicron right now put that in your pipe and smoke it perfect, perfect. 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 perfect.